Okay, in this presentation, we are going to look at something that is connected to the negative binomial distribution, and that is the AB0 class of distributions, okay? Suppose that the annual claims frequency for an insured in a large portfolio of insured has a distribution that is in the AB0 class. Let PK be the probability that an insured has K claims in a given year. So given that P1 is equal to 0.3072, P2 is equal to 0 0.1228, and P3 is equal to 0 0.04096. Determine the probability, determine the probability that an insured has no claims in the given year. That is to say, calculate P0. Now, we're not actually told explicitly that this is a negative binomial distribution that we're dealing with. But just for the sake of simplicity and the sake of time, we'll just sort of work on the basis that it is. Because it is, but you know, we're not we don't have to check we're not going to check it or anything. Okay? So uh, disc any discrete probability distribution that satisfies the following recursive relationship is said to be in the AB0 class of distributions, okay? So this is a ratio here of two successive uh, probabilities that relate to two successive numbers of occurrences. Probability of K minus 1 divided by, or probability of K divided by the prob probability of K minus 1. That is equal to A plus B divided by K. So essentially the ratio can be written in that form. Here K actually specifies the number of occurrences for the second probability that corresponds to the numerator. Okay. And it go from K equal 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay. And as long as this corresponds to K and this corresponds to K minus 1, essentially right beside each other in the sequence, then we can use this formula. Okay, so the negative binomial distribution is a member of the AB0 class of distributions. If the negative binomial is specified with the shape and scale parameter, alpha and theta, then A and B can be defined as such. Okay. Now, something we could do in another video is actually just actually go further than what we're about to do now and find out what A and B are. But I'm not going to, I'll take that, cross that bridge when we come to it. So based on the recurrence, recursive relationship, we have the following two sets of equations in terms of A and B, okay? Here, K is equal to 2. So P2 divided by P1, that is 0 0.2288. I think I have an extra 8 there, but it's supposed to be there. Divided by 0 0.3072, and that is 0 0.4, okay? So just actually, just to remark, it actually should be 88 rather than 8. And that would be equal to A plus B divided by 2. Remember, K here is equal to 2. Now that we have K is equal to 3, P3 divided by P2, that is 0 0.04096 divided by 0 0.12288, that is 1 third, and that should equal to a, a, be equal to A plus B divided by 3. So essentially what we have to do is just sort of figure out what B is. So I'm just going to sort of let them equal to each other cross multiply essentially, we should find that B is equal to 0 0.40 and correspondingly A would be equal to 0 0.2. That shouldn't trouble you too much. Okay, you can just sort of cancel out the A's and sort of figure out one from the other based on these expressions here. Okay, so Plugging A and B into the recursive uh, relationship gives the following answer. So here K is equal to 1. So P1 divided by P0. That is going to be 0 0.3072 divided by P0. And that would be equal to A plus B divided by K, which is simply A plus B. That is 0 0.6. So P0 is 0 0.3072 divided by 0 0.6. And that is 0 0.512. So I think we'll leave it there. That's just a great start to this whole idea of A, B, zero distributions. Uh, that's it, Jim. Okay, we'll leave it there.